Hey everybody, Oxidize here, and I wanted to have a, just a casual conversation. It's not really a guide. It's not really a gameplay video. It's more of a conversation, maybe convincing you to to play Albion online. And I want to talk about the monetization, the um, the the microtransactions in Albion online, and why I actually like them. And in in a world full of loot boxes and cosmetics and memberships. I think Albion Online Sandbox Interactive does it in a very, very nice way. Um, you know, you, 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 you can buy the premium for like $10 a month, a US, 10 US dollars. I'm not sure where it is everywhere else. You can also pay in-game currency as well. And it's at, it's, it's at a price that would be considered fair, hard to get to without premium, but still doable you know what i mean and um and i just want to talk about it real quick and let's just jump right into the video all right so i want to start this video by talking about uh what what the premium uh what you get when you do get premium uh why it's important and why I recommend you do get premium if you have the funds or the means to be able to afford it, of course. Uh, so premium's up here. So for 30 days, um, one premium is 3,000 gold or 8 million silver. And you get this for a total of 30 days. Um, and in order to get premium, you can purchase premium uh, straight up or you can use uh, gold or silver. I don't know why I'm going in circles there. But here's what you get when you do get premium. You get 20 learning points per day, 20 uh, learning points are uh, learning points in general just help you increase your skills a little bit quicker you get 10,000 focus per day 10,000 focus is used for things like farming and crafting uh it pretty much allows you to get benefits from the farming and crafting portion of things uh the portion of the the game where you get more you get resources back or you get more farmed products that way uh an, an ability to buy an, uh, to buy a personal island the islands are cool they're a way to make you some money um but not until like way 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 late game in my opinion you get you, you do get more silver and loot from mobs you get more gathering yield you get crop yield you, you the premium you are paying for a premium like you, you do get a lot of good stuff doing this however without all this stuff you can still go gather it might take you a little bit longer um you might you can still go do all the other content in the game it's not barring you from any combat in the game but what it is doing is a lot it, it is it is making your life easier in the game so i would generally say if you can afford it i would pick up premium personally uh, i do pay the the, the ten dollars a month for it um eventually i will hope to get to the point where i can just use all the silver i get uh from my endeavors my gathering my 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 mob and stuff like that uh and and put that towards the silver now i want to go and start now i want to go and talk about the uh the cosmetics um and yeah, I mean, like, 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 and, 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 and I was confused what I was going to say there because I'm thinking of all the different mono, all the different microtransactions in the game. You have premium, okay, but you also have um, cosmetics. And I, for one, I don't, I don't see a problem with cosmetics. If you want to spend money on cosmetics, by all means, please do. Uh, oh, also, I should mention before we get into cosmetics, you, you do get a monthly reward for completing challenges. You get these. Uh, these challenge chests and you get like a mount each month uh you get some extra tomes and stuff that, that all this stuff is nice but like again it, it, you're not you're not really losing any content by not having this it's more of just helping you along the way you know it, you're getting your money you're getting your money's worth basically um but yeah going into like cosmetics you, you I mean there, there's some cool ones you can get like i have the princess uniform just for s's and g's basically there's also another princess uniform there's these there's these different other odd ones and you can also get um mount skins and different mounts as well oh they're, they're mount skins so you're not even getting these mounts because you actually can lose your mount pretty easily in this game so you wouldn't want to buy a straight up mount but the mount skins you know you, you have forever basically so i i honestly think it's nothing to be scared of when it comes to this game i think they they have a really good model and i think more games should take you know take some uh you know it take, take some inspiration from this i think you know it's a free-to-play game to begin with or it recently became free to play which is a very smart business move in my opinion because a ton of people as you can see on my screen here are now playing this game and spending their money on premium or on uh cosmetics and like it to me 
it, it, it's a great thing so if you if you were curious about getting into the game or getting premium i hope this kind of clears some things up for you um just some quick notes again premium does not bar you from any content other than having your own island which really doesn't help you until way later in the game which by that point you might make enough money to buy one anyway or to buy premium with in-game currency um it gives you a lot of benefits from the for like uh experience and looting and stuff like that and getting some silver but i mean that's it and then you have cosmetics great great stuff right guys anyways i'm oxidized i hope this video helped like it comment on it subscribe to me i'll be here next time